Good morning, everyone. It's me, Barbara. I am going to read to you today a devotional that I uh, read this morning. Again, these devotionals that I read give me encouragement, and I thought I would maybe start sharing um, what I read uh, this morning or in the mornings with you all, maybe on a few videos. I hope that um, it encourages you. You all know that I love to read some of the, the, the devotionals in the YouVersion app. They have so many different topics. They have focus topics that you can look and see what type of devotional you would like to, to read. And um, I came across this one and I really enjoyed it. It's a three-day devotional. The title of this devotional is Choosing Each Day, God or Self. And I'll read some of, um, some of what it says. How do you wake up most mornings? Do you use an alarm clock of some sort? Do you hit the snooze once, twice, or even seven times? Do you lie in bed and to thaw out for a few minutes, or do you get right up? There are obviously many ways to wake up, but most of us probably lie in bed for a moment or two to orient ourselves. As you start the process of orienting yourself, do you begin to think about your day and all that it is that you have before you to do. Where do your thoughts go as your mind starts to become more alert? We have a choice to make every day, every morning when we wake up. Will it be God that we think about or will it be mostly ourselves? Uh, it is amazing how quickly we can make ourselves, our schedules, and our to-do lists. How many of you all have to-do lists? And our to-do lists that we can make them such high priorities in our lives. How often do we think of ourselves first and then at some point during our day when we have extra time, we start thinking about God and that's the one who we proclaim to be our Lord and Savior. What about you? What is foremost and what's the first thought in your mind when you first wake up, when you first start to become more awake? Who comes first to your thoughts? And how do you spend the start of your day? What are some of the first things that you do on the start of your day? The next morning, tomorrow morning, the next day after that, and the next day after that, let's look towards some practical ways we can choose each day to be less self-focused and to become more God-first focused. I love that. Y'all, we can begin each day, in each day after that, by taking a moment to identify the things, the thoughts, the activities, or even the emotions that consume us and keep us from worshiping God and keep us from serving him. This devotional got me thinking, you know, when I wake up in the morning, um, this is, I go through stages of my life and depending on what's going on in my mind and my thoughts and how well I sleep. But right now I'm at a stage in my life that I wake up um, pretty early and I don't need an alarm clock. i pretty uh, naturally wake up between 4.30 and 6.30. It just depends. And um, I just get up and I have my um, my cell phone that's charging on my bedside and I grab it. And I usually get up. My husband is still asleep. He, he's a morning person too, but he doesn't get up uh, usually as early as I do. Sometimes he's awake already. And I get my alarm clock and I go so I don't disturb him. And I open it up and usually, and this is me, I will start to um, go through social media, um, but whatever social media that I want to. There's so many, I won't even list the ones uh, that they are, but um, I'll start to go through social media. And um, those are some of the first things I do afterwards. And then I get ready for the day and, and then I read my devotional. But why isn't the first thing for me to look through my devotional and then when I have time, look through my social media. 
So this, this devotional was really speaking to me about what are the first thoughts in my mind. When I wake up, I start thinking about, oh, I have this to do, and I do, I love making lists. I have a lot of to-do lists, and I start thinking about um, my job on, you know, maybe some financial issues, some health issues our family is going through, some health issues as a family, and my daughter, my children, I have grandchildren, I have a great grandchild and, you know, and they have some situations in their lives that really draw me to my knees uh, very often, which is where I need to be because I need to give it to God and I need to leave it at his feet. But um, those are some of the things that consume my thoughts when I first wake up. And this really helped me to know that, uh, help, this helped me to refocus I love how it just gives us some um, refocusing. That's why we need to read and, and be together because I need to refocus. What are my priorities first thing when I wake up? But I don't know, I could keep on going on and talking about this, but I hope that you all enjoyed this devotional. I hope that you enjoyed this different type of style of just me talking to you all and a little bit about what's going on and maybe I'll keep doing this. I. I am enjoying it, but um, I am going to go ahead and get my day started. It is still in the morning, but uh, I have a lot to do, as, <laughs> as you were probably listening to me talk about it. Um, you all stay encouraged. Continue to read God's Word. Like and subscribe to this video. And until the next time, know that I love you, but God loves you most. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye. <music>